Hi, Kevin here. For dinner tonight, we're fixing linguine and vegetables in a white wine sauce. It's one of my favorite weeknight meals. I think you'll like it too. So I'll go over the ingredients as we prep them and use them. All right, so the first ingredient is a red onion. And you want to peel it and then cut it in half and then slice it into thin half moons. And then put the onions in a bowl, give them a toss just to break them up. Okay, next is a summer squash. It's a yellow squash. And you want to lop off the ends and then cut the squash lengthwise in half. And then cut each half into, oh, quarter inch to half inch pieces. And put them in the bowl with the onions. I'm going to do a red bell pepper. This is a large bell pepper. And how I prepare peppers is I cut down the walls. Yeah, this way you don't have seeds flying all over the place. And then stack the peppers, maybe you know, two layers at a time, and then cut them into just thin strips. And then, because I, I don't want any really long strips in my pasta dish, I'm going to cut these crosswise in half. Okay, and I'll finish cutting the remaining pepper up, and then I'll come right back. Add the cut up pepper to the bowl. And then, going to add a tomato. And this is the way I prepare the tomato. I cut out the stem section. Just use a sharp paring knife. I'm using a ceramic paring knife that I really like. And then cut the fruit into quarters. Then take your paring knife. And I don't want all of the juicy pulp here and it's loaded with seeds. So I take the paring knife and I just cut out that pulp so that all that remains is the wonderful, flavorful flesh. Okay, and I'll finish doing these and be right back. All right, so now take the tomato flesh and cut it into strips. And then cut the strips into crosswise pieces. There's no exact size here, so you don't have to worry about being precise. Just cutting mine into thirds and then cutting crosswise. And there we have them. Into the bowl they go. All right, now I'm going to move you over to the stove top. Okay, my water is at a rolling boil. So now I'm going to salt the water. You always want to salt the water after it has come to a boil. 
then here's my linguine. But it's only me for dinner tonight, so I'm not going to use all of this. Use, oh, about a third of it. So I do want to have leftovers. In it goes. That should be enough. Push it down. And then I'm going to cook the pasta only until it's al dente, meaning that it has some bite to it because I really cannot stand soggy pasta. So I'm going to let this cook for nine minutes and I will start timing it as soon as the water returns to a boil. And now we can move on to, move you down here. I have my skillet over medium heat. I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of olive oil. And as soon as this butter melts, we will add the vegetables. All right, the butter has melted, so now I'm going to add some garlic paste. You could use fresh minced garlic if you like, one or two cloves. I'm going to add one teaspoon. The nice thing about this garlic paste is that it does not burn, not easily anyway. That is a quick stir. Then add the beautiful vegetables. Toss them about. And I'm going to add some salt. Just a pinch. And some freshly ground black pepper. And just for a little hint of heat, we're going to add a small amount of crushed red pepper flakes. Just this much. All right, and then cover the skillet, lower the heat, and let the vegetables sweat or steam just until they're crisp tender. This is going to take about five minutes, so we will come back. While the veggies are cooking, I'm going to shred some smoked mozzarella. Now, if you've never tried this stuff, you must. It's ridiculously delicious, okay? Okay, my vegetables are tender crisp after five minutes. So now, I'm going to add some white wine. This is just uh, Pinot Grigio. It's not an expensive, uh, brand, but it's certainly a drinkable brand. I'm going to add about a half cup. You want to bring this to a boil and let the wine boil for, oh, like one minute just to burn off the alcohol. When that happens, I'm going to plate this up and then I'll show you what the dinner looks like on the plates. All right, here's the pasta and the vegetables. I'll plate it up, and isn't this colorful? I'm going to add some of the wonderful smoked mozzarella now while this dish is still hot because I want the mozzarella to melt. Then I happen to find some fresh basil at my local farm store earlier today, so I'm going to tear up a few of the leaves and just sprinkle them on top with a little more color and some definite perfume. Boy, do I love basil. Here it is. Okay, it's time for a taste. Okay, bon appetit. Mmm. 
beyond delicious. Okay, Mr. Fox is in the city, so he is really missing out on a spectacular dinner. And I have to tell you, this is one of the best dinners I have ever put in my mouth. I love everything about this dish. The al dente pasta, the tender crisp vegetables, that splash of white wine, the smoked mozzarella, and of course the fresh basil. So if this dish looks appealing to you, please post a comment below because I love to hear from you. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll post the list of ingredients in the description below, and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.